Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last days of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalo. And right now, the flaws of the Fliegerfaust. For Oberkommando Africa, subject, Fliegerfaust, performance. Classification for Oberkommando only. Body 1. Combat reports from South Africa show mixed results for Fliegerfaust application in battlefield conditions. Its rocket salvo is useless against a fast-moving jet aircraft due to the absence of a guidance system, forcing operators to lead their targets. Moreover, its performance drastically decreases at ranges beyond 500 meters. This limits its use to low-flying, close-air support aircraft. These combined make the Fliegerfaust an extremely deficient manpad. However, the Fliegerfaust has performed exceptionally well against helicopters. The low airspeed and low flight altitude falls within the weapon system's ideal operating conditions. Units engaged against American assault, air assault elements in particular hold the Fliegerfaust in high regard due to the relative ease with which they dispatch uh, ingressing Bell UH-1 Huey gunships during heavy engagements. We recommend procurement or development of long-range man pads against fast-moving American air assets. While adjusting infantry unit organization to relegate the Fliegerfaust as an anti-helicopter support weapon at the company level. Truncated for brevity, report end. So last time, we did fairly okay. We struggled a little bit here, but at this point, we're going to continue defending the best we can because we're out of manpower. We don't have a lot of guns, and yeah, uh, we're doing okay. Not great. Oh, not bad. Uh, does my spacebar not work? Huh. Oh, uh, well, you guys can hear it. Clicking and clacking away. Oh, hello. And also, I, I just did a little bit of this off screen already. So, uh, this is very weird. Uh, I wasn't expecting this in the very first minute, but let's slow down maybe a little bit. Oh, okay, my computer, my keyboard's not working at all. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see. Well, let's get it, go on by a little bit. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Do not lose this. Oh, we killed off a lot of people here. Very nice. And we got two guys encircled here. So, you guys go here. You guys try to send a rescue operation. And those tanks, yesterday's, the 10th Armored Tiger Division, it made me, as someone said in the comments from yesterday, channel my inner Hutig. Out of the comments, so, why didn't I use the cons commands to complete the focus tree when the war broke out? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I normally don't like using uh, cons commands, so it is what it is. Let's see. Play and Red Flood as centrist Hitler. I probably will eventually. So there, there is some support. Hey, nice. We got there. Uh, for me to play as Austria in Red Flood. Hello. There's three divisions up there. Cool. Um, you guys go right there. And if you guys have to pull out, so be it. Actually, for you guys, I'm just going to do this. I guess it's fine. And, oh. If we could do something like this, that would be really, really good. Everyone else, I think I just want to concentrate my forces everywhere else. So... Let's see. Other comments. Prolong the war as long as possible. We'll try to, I suppose, because that will really hurt America. I'm not sure that really gives us any more benefits. But we'll see what happens. And, yeah, at the end of the last episode, I channel my inner Hootig at the end of the last episode, yeah. <clears throat> right now, we, we got a little bit of political power. <clears throat> there goes my voice again. 0.75. We could er lay early traps. I don't think we really need to since how far we've gone down. But instead, I think we'll investigate our other people here. How about we continue doing Mueller? And how about we get some more funding from Germania and then lightly investigate Shank as well at the same time? Alright, so I just had to exit the game and, and then re-enter the game. So now that's totally okay. And actually for you guys, I think we'll just kind of hang out here and just try to hold. Oh, no, 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 Edit this. There you go. And I'll probably try to concentrate these forces more, but god dang, I hate these American tanks so much. There's literally nothing we can do about them. They're so strong. They're ridiculously strong. And we got to really save up a lot on our... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, just equipment. Just equipment in general. They want to make an encirclement here, which is not good. So, boys, move quickly. Move, 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 move. <clears throat> oh, well, look at that. God, I hate South Africa now. Okay, we're holding. Good. Pierce those stupid booties, if you possibly can. A kind word and a gun. Two men placed their guns on the blanket of ground with all the care reserved for the prize of possessions, and since they were. Now, Eddie, Friedrich said, tone chilling as a kindergartner's teacher, he swept a hand along his NF LAG. L -A -G. See this butte? Find a service rifle in history. Shoots 20 p f fennegs in a row at 800 yards. No more moving parts are necessary. Harder than diamonds and hail Schwanzi. Schwanzi. Feels stripped on your sleep and it fires the next morning like it hasn't left the factory today. Who would want to... 
swap their scrap metal with it straight away. Yeah, that's a good gun, I guess, uh, murmured uh, Eddie. But we had to make do when the bank, the, the dudes were at our door back in Salisbury, and the smelly Edward just heard his hand at his, the Enfield gets the job done gosh darn well none of you are fancy gas operated stuff heck i know some smiths who shorten the barrel just like that he cho and chopped off chopped at the arrival's midpoint then you got yourself a boomstick for the jungle friedrich rolled his eyes make do making do with the scrap still making do with scrap feel proud of only one huh but you guys know what's inferior though H hendrik one of the younger belgian mercenaries said as he sauntered off up what the two pulmitsists asked the m14 laughed all around the campfire you got that right cool all right so I'd like to attack here or here, something like that. Oh, hello. Oh, part of Austin is good. Oh, what's happened over here? Did we win? Yeah, we did. Nice. Uh, yeah, don't worry about attacking, guys. Just defend for now. So we'll see what happens. I'd love to attack here, but I just don't think we would be able to. So instead, what we're going to do is go right here to here and cut that one division off. We should be able to win here, so. Um, all right. Well, they take that. You guys are really... The AI. Our AI is, is incredibly stupid. Incredibly stupid. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Tank on tank action. Hmm. Not bad. Uh, no. I want you to get down here. So we go down here. So we go down there, there, there. Something like that. Cool. Well, they're still coming in in. Coming in on in, so. Assistant generals, that'll be good. Let's see. Oh, everyone is useless. Yeah, they're not wrong. All but come on to Africa? Why not? Just as our homeland, we need a central government. Oh. Uh, General Staff, I mean, to coordinate the war effort on an even higher level with the Oberkommando der Afrikanische Streitkräfte. We will be allowed, no, I will be allowed, to give orders directly to all shield troops, no matter what Rex Commissariat where they belong to, dramatically increasing cohesion between units and overall tactical and strategic effectiveness and coordination. Even more importantly, this is the best chance we have at turning the mass decerebrated we call allies into something actually resembling a proper fighting force. Wow. Makes sense, though. Hello. Guys, why are you attacking them there? I'd love to attack here. Oh, man. Would that be possible? It might just be possible. If we can do that and destroy an American division, that'd be nice. Nice cup of tea, though. Despite Africa's judgmental humidity, SS Hauptschafer Balthasar Balthasar shot gleefully sips a cup of coffee or tea on his bench outside the Lusaka barracks. Also, Africa's an austere place. Also, African SS, an austere organization, but... Balthasar still endeavors to make time for this one comfort, his eyes closed, and the tea washes across his tongue, rich, dark, multi magnificent, but not quite. He sighs in reverence, the flavor offering some slight absolution in this gosh darn backwater. Balthasar loves his tea. It reminds him of home back in Emden. Muti would serve it in thin porcelain cups, not the steel mugs that the troops here were, are, are issued. Try as we might, Balthasar could never find Kluncha, so he made do with pouring ration sugar at the bottom of his mug. Not as sweet as his tongue recall, but it was better than nothing. Hardly any cream in Lucas Lusaka either, so his imitation tea also had none of the thin white Lukji hovering just below the rim. Always compromises for the wreck in Africa. Tea tide was no ex uh, exempt, was no less exempt. Sometimes we wondered why he even left. He had made decent money as a factory guard back home, but then he had seen those posters, read the magazine articles, and then the recruiter had com commented on how perfectly airy in his eyes were. Perhaps it would be something more in Ost Africa, he thought. Then he remembered, captive screaming, forest burning, soldiers screaming, men trampling villages as a relish in atrocity, women screaming. Balthasar took another sip of Ersatz Ostfriesenstee. Of freezing tea. The amber did a little to wash the memories away. Come, have some tea and talk of happier things and have a sip of coffee with me. Ah, oh, so we're trying to attack and they said no. We'll see about that. We'll see about that, you stupid American tanks. And then again, um, if we destroy that division, then that just probably means that they're going to be able to send more divisions in, which is something I don't really want. No, get in there before they do. Come on, man. Seriously? Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We overran them. <sighs> An entire tank division lost. Oof. That's, that's painful. Now, as much as I want to really attack, I don't think we will. I mean, these guys are doing well. I mean, we spo I suppose we could just beat them up. That's the main idea, just to beat up the enemies. Ooh, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Especially if you can circle that one division. 
Uh, Agent Force C Suit Vest African Surveillance. Agents classified to return from their operation in Suit Vest Africa with less than satisfactory results. Agent Classified was out conducting field surveillance but in hopes that evidence of collaboration or leniency between the rebel groups in Suit Vest Africa and the authorities could be uncovered. Unfortunately, the territory though they were in was far more patrol than initially thought. Agent Classified attempted to set up an observation position on more than one occasion, but nearby patrols forced him to change location. Eventually, the operative concluded that surveillance operation was impossible to accomplish and they vacated the area with little or no actionable intelligence uncovered. The operative insisted the frequency and intensity of the patrols had made it hard to accomplish surveillance without being uncovered and possibly captured. Given the delicate circumstances of the situation, it's understandable that the exposure and possible capture of one of our agents would cause enormous problems. If the working theory that the rebel groups and local authority have been collaborating is true, a massive breach like that would risk the exposure of the entire investigation and all of our assets. We cannot discount the possibility that the rebels had advanced knowledge that they would be spied upon. An investigation of our intelligence network for any possible leaks is underway. Meanwhile, Agent Classified will be temporarily kept away from the public while they and their friends and relatives are investigated as well. Well, for the glory of the bottle lamb, no matter how dark the night, the day always comes. Report, a German gift to the French officer. Agent Classified returned from the operation in Leopoldville, and the results are promising. Agent Classified infiltrated the archives of Central Afrikanische Administrative Complex during the absence of Reichskommissar Müller, henceforth to be referred to as a suspect due to a visit to the mainland Reich, which required the majority of the compound security personnel to escort their leader. He's going to the Reich? They're in civil war right now. The search has been long and difficult, as the archives themselves are a maze of seemingly random and unorganized folders. Such mess cannot be explained, merely with negligence or incompetence, and must be instead deemed an indirect defense measure against inspections. Our agents were forced to abandon any professional approach, and had to pick folders randomly to examine them as quickly as possible before leaving to avoid any suspicion. One of said documents, however, proved interesting. Hidden inside a seemingly harmless report was a photo showing the French general, Jacques Massou, currently residing in the Free French Remnants. What was most interesting was not the general himself, but the fact that he was holding, it was with a very pleased expression, a stuffed lion's head, and behind it was a crate with the Eingeschenk written on it, or a present. The German writings say that it was a present, it is clear indicated of who the sender is. Only the suspect has such a taste for hunting trophies, something which evidently Masu shares, and no other German would be so bold or foolish to send a present to an officer from a hall of power, without protection from above. This is a conduct which nearly violates section 100 of Strafgesetz's book, engaging in relations with which endanger peace, punishable with up to 10 years of concentration camps. We advise further investigations in order to understand the full extension of the suspect's relationships with the French exiles. For the glory of the Vatalan, the only suitable gift for the enemy is death. Nice. Hey, there it is. So we got some evidence for Müller. We have not found anything for Schenk yet, which is kind of disappointing, but that's okay. Let's continue doing probably Müller. Mm, how much political power do we get? 0.75. Ah, funding. We have 23 million. That's okay. Alright, not bad. Ooh, I hate attrition so much. I hate a lot of things. But not really. But somewhat. Save our guns. Save our tanks. Oh. Oh, I actually lost a destroyer. Well, that sucks. You know what? Just combine both of you together. And don't do... Um, do this area, then. Does guys have any upgrades, maybe? Oh, yeah, he does. Minesweeper. Mine layer. Is he learning anything? Fleet protector? Well, we'll wait, maybe. I'm slowly not trying to win the war here, so. Oh! Black market trading increases. All right, then. Uh, I'll send one of you guys this way. There you go. One more division, hopefully, will die. And. Oh, we still got quite a few days for this one. Not bad. A little bit of lag, and that's okay. Come on, guys. Oh, are they doing. They're not doing a lot of stand at all, but, you know, still. Uh, you know, just hold. Just hold. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, they still have the, the tank division down there. They have another tank division over here. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Wow, they have... Holy crap. Uh, move on in there, guys. Help the fan if you can. Nope. Are they forcing the attack? I mean, this is a bit ridiculous. No, they're not. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Like... Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't get encircled. Okay, yeah. Or, you know, destroy that way. South Africa. I, d I really don't like the OFN, as you can tell. <laughs> uh, let's see. At least you guys are still trying to make it out. Just retreat. That's totally okay to retreat sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. Trying to stall the war to be longer. I don't know if that's a really good strategy, to be honest with you. Just because 
like we we got to make sure that we don't lose. Oh, there goes uh, Himmler's England. Goodbye, Himmler. Nice. Oh, we'll Commando Africa. Protect Shanks Jets. Drums of War. Okay, that's not too bad. Get more attack and organization. Pay Mueller's men less organization. Recovery rate. Worst sport. Hot acclimatization factor. Uh, right. So, uh, why not? What are these debauched mercenaries that Mueller calls soldiers? Don't these men have any loyalty other than money? Any interest except for chasing skirts? Do they realize the extent of the treason? I can't believe it. This is getting out of hand. Harsh measures will need to be taken. And Mueller will have to pay for all his crimes against our Vatalan. But for now, victory is more important. Even though I loathe to even pronounce the words, I will pay those dudes out of all Africa's pockets. My patience is running thin, and I don't hope the war ends before it, I'm completely run uh, before I completely run out of it. Don't worry about attacking. Report Aryan holidays. Agents classified a return from their operation in Central Africa, and the results are promising. Agent classified traveled to Hitlerstadt in the pursuit of people connected to Reichskommissar Müller, henceforth to be referred to as a suspect, and his corporate ties. The show has grown cold at the Hitlerstadt resort, but its progress has been made nonetheless, as the team has managed to obtain the register with all the names of the guests who have visited the report in the last year by bribing one of the employees. The reading proved extremely interesting as, alongside the usual German names, several foreign names have been found. While they aren't tied to any rubble or seditious or or organizations, several, Katagawa, Smith, Adrichi, to name some of them, belong to foreign industrials and corporate suits. While the reason for their presence at the hotel eludes us, it is certain that these people should have never been in Central Africa. Since the government, central government, has established a heavy embargo on any company or enterprise whose illegal headquarters are located within any country belonging to either the Triumvirate, the OFN, or the Japanese sphere. The fact that those people, who are emissaries from foreign and possible powers, traveled to Central Africa and resided for several days at the same hotel is enough proof to say that these people had very little interest in a vacation. Hitler's shot is, in fact, bordering a rather dull quagmire, and very far from normal safari routes, and way more in establishing trade relationships with a suspect, a conduct violating Section 333 of the Strafgesetzbuch, granting benefits, punishable with up to eight years of prison, for the investigation is strongly advised in order to strengthen the accusations with more evidence. For the glory of the Vatalam, the area needs not luxury, only duty. Oh, we get... Oh! We can buy stuff. Ah, oh, that's not bad. We might want to buy stuff. Maybe. Man, there's so much evidence here. Secure finding. As long as we just don't lose. That's my biggest thing. Hello, what's going on? Uh-oh, gods of the north. Just give our guys some time to heal up, feel good about themselves. Man, who takes got to be going crazy? Actually, you know what? Let's get a field marshal here, too. They could probably use one. Uh, Chmielski? Uh, that seems pretty good. Oh, he's really good on attack. Oh, I mean, he's already leading this. Uh, I mean, yeah, he was a tank. Oh, there you go, though. No. Very nice. Yeah, bear. You have a promotion, bear. Don't make me disappointed in you. So losses, we've lost 63,000. Holy crud. They have lost 189,000, so that's not terrible. Uh, training increases, good. Win the battle. Win the day. How's the budget looking, too? Uh, liquid reserves? Let's keep it right now for now. Still not doing bad. Oh, there we go. Boost that up. Boost it up, too. Send the evidence? Well, we definitely don't have enough evidence for that. Can we... We probably need more guns. No, we have more than enough guns. Support equipment? Um, yeah. We can try support equipment, shall we? Uh-oh. And? Ah, there we go. There goes Tricky Dick. I guess, really, we have to wait until... they. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Hopefully they win. Um, if someone gets elected here, like... What was it? JFK is the leader in it for now, but... RFK, maybe wait till the elections or something. Get more defense. Defense seems pretty good right now. I'd love to attack here and here to encircle some more divisions, which we actually might be able to do if we're smart enough. Just because we don't have a lot of divisions here. Alright, can they pierce us? No, which is a good thing, but this is a mountain tile? As a desert tile. My goodness. Fighting tooth and nail for literally every splotch of dirt. Good. Keep them in place. All we have to do is get there. Just get there. There we go. We got there. And hold. You actually just hold. Are you kidding me, man? God dang. I can't do anything with these guys. You literally can't do anything. 
uh, trafficking in the mines. Agents classified a return from their operation in Leopoldville, and the results are promising. He has traveled to the Sweet Castle Bergbaum Unternehmen, an important mining complex, in order to uncover more information about the ties between Rex Commissar Mueller, henceforth to be referred to as a suspect, and the corporate corporations there. He managed to gain access. Uh, to the accounting books, of which he has taken an ample amount of photographs. The fund has been observed to be operating normally, with an important volume of ore being extracted, but this fact does not match the numbers, which show the business barely keeping afloat and constantly at risk of failing. What's worse, the personnel there doesn't wear the ordinary uniforms of the security personnel, and their names couldn't be found in the official register of the Hale, the SS soldier stationed in the area. Thinking it seems as if the mine is actually operated by a private company, should this allegation prove true. This would mean that the suspect has ceded a public asset to a private business and allowed it to siphon funds towards an unknown destination, breaching the pol politics. Enacting all the Rex Commissariats, which state that all earnings from resource production enterprises must go to the Rex Colonial Treasury, a conduct violation section 266 of the Straff Gazette's book, embezzlement, punishable with up to 10 years in prison, as well as several other administrative laws. We further suggest uh, investigations to fully understand the depth of the suspect ties with the corporations. For the glory of the Vaterland, follow the money, and the traitors never, uh, never fall from it. Oof. Of course, they attack me here. Yeah, we're not going to lose here. Send another tank down. We need to spot more fuel. Yeah, our tanks suck. Uh, I mean, if it was just us versus South Africa, we could beat the South Africans with, with a stick very easily. But with when America shows up, it's just so bad. It's so god awful. War economy. I don't want to go to war economy though. Skim the cream. Mm, that's not bad. Conscript the tribes. Hmm. Development triad. Well, let's do protect Shanks Jets. Our brothers in the Sudbet's Africa possess the largest air force out of all the Africa Shield. Then why is that idiot Shanks saying all of them to die against inferior American planes? Why? After the war, I'll have a proper discussion with them about this, preferably in an interrogation chamber and with improper instruments, but there isn't time to do all that now, so I'll need to ensure that our air wings are properly escorted before the engagement and protected when they retreat. It feels like I have to do everything myself. Probably. Alright, you should be down there by now. There's no excuse why you're not there by now. Seriously, like... What's going on? Bear, you're, you're god-awful. You're god-awful as a general. <laughs> Beat those stupid Americans up. Seriously, just get rid of them all. I know there's like a focus here that says that we can... Oop, eventually... They're so overpowered. America's so overpowered in this one. But, uh... Gas American soldiers? Or something like that, so... But then that makes America declare war on you, which is... Stupid. Because they shouldn't be involved in foreign affairs. Now, am I talking about real-life America? Or... <laughs> The game, America. It's up to you to decide. Uh, there it goes. He's assassinated. Good. And actually, you know what? Let's take a look at America here. Led by McCormick. And actually... Uh, <laughs> Advised level 4. The American Despair. Good. Good. The Last Bastion of Liberty. Uh, where is Bogged Down Fronts? That's good. Let's see. OFN, Summit United. Jim Crow. South Africa, how are they doing? All train training, they got enough manpower. They have so many divisions. Jesus. Come on, South Africa, attack us again. See what happens. <clears throat> As we're literally just cutting down the debt right now. Go to America, yeah, keep attacking. Keep seeing what that's going to be like for you. Walshna is doing an okay job there. Very nice. Actually, does uh, South Africa have any spirits here? Desp desperate? Neut no, they're not desperately neutral. They they went to war. They have volunteers from these guys. They're not neutral at all. They went to war with us. Cape Town Massacre. <coughs> Good. Bogged down fronts. Yeah, you should have that. Sao Tome Elise. Trainer troops. Substantial. Iberian country Country. Oh, wow. That's a massive buff. Plus 15%. Jesus Christ. No wonder we can't do anything. Woof! Oh, buddy boy! That's a lot right there. Service, the midst of vast hellscape of generous barbarism. A bastion of civilization has once stood proud and firm. His name was Paul Jung. A model SS man, dutiful, skilled, and composed, one com once commanded by his superiors as a testament to the courtesy and intelligence of the Aryan mind. Those were simpler times. Like. <clears throat> 
Ozymandias before him, ages slowly weathered to the once great foundations. Each retreat brought a new fallen brother, new nervous tech, and new assault to the, on, to the psyche. With all the fury, he can mustly wage a war against his own counters. Yet his efforts were in vain. Creeping futility lurked behind <clears throat> lurked repression in the back of his mind, growing until it reached a fever pitch. All was lost, his brothers died, lied dead or missing. His father lay torn apart, his labors drawn fought so dearly for decades ago, buried in an unceasing tide of self humans. Most of all, Paolo himself was lost. The once towering Eremon specimen reduced to a half naked husk, under to himself among the weeds. Patrol passed above him, its headlights drawing long shadows across the dirt road. Paul fingered the grenade pin. The time was now, degeneracy seeped into his body, but not his mind and soul. <clears throat> And he would die in the service to his people, the Reich, and fear as long before his child. Or the wordless cry of the broken area rose up, will the last of his race's innate fear to a forlorn hope. Three shots rang out for the night, and the final collapse ensued. Here lies the proud son of the Reich. Oh. And they go spare good. Hopefully that means uh, they're done. Bog down front, huh? And development triad. In order to win the war, the Africa Shield needs to be united not only in bodies but also in mind. I have established a joint research and development office between the Reichs Commissariats and, and our best and brightest shall devise together new ways to win the war. Why well, do I have the feeling that no matter what, I'll be the only one providing the funds, supplying the personnel, and generally doing all the work again? <laughs> oh, poor dude. Fair operation. Um, man, there's so many operations here. This, it's getting a little bit tiring. Just personally, like. It always starts with the same agents classified have returned from the operation in Leopoldville, and it's also been disappointing. The team was able to infiltrate the central compound of the Central Afrikaner administration during the night in search of the proof about the ties between Rex Gomez and Mueller, henceforth to be referred to as a suspect. Okay, we get it. Like, this happens every time. He's always known as a suspect. And several private corporations immediately they located the central archives and started their inspection. What they didn't expect, however, was the state of the archive. Rather than being organized, following the usual recording techniques used by the bureaucrats all across the Reich, the folders and documents were stored with no discernible order. Security reports were found near receipts for the guards' food and newspaper articles about the suspects' hunting feats. We have no doubt that this chaos cannot be blamed on more incompetence. Surely this is a deliberate attempt at making the archives themselves impossible to analyze without the time for a full inspection, which would require weeks, if not months, with a team several orders of magnitudes larger than what we can feel. As it is, this indirect defense mechanism has worked, and our agents were forced to leave the structure dawn before the personnel returned to the compound, having found nothing of use of the investigation. For the glory of the Vaterland, the initial failure can only make the final victory sweeter. Now, honestly, like, yeah, just, just, just a little, little change-up of, like, wording. Like, we get it. The guy is, is the suspect. We kind of understand that at this point. Oh, good job, Bowman. Uh, Bowman, can we get some help? <laughs> please, Bowman, please. Martin, I know things are not going great down there, or up there. They're wrecking a thousand pieces. But, Papa Bowman, please. Please. I'm... Uh, Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we can buy more resources. Can I buy guns? I, we, or, I mean, we got enough guns. Can I buy some artillery? Oh, drop tanks. Not sure if we really need those right now. But uh, we'll grab some more weapon improvements. Just gotta wait till elections. I wonder who's gonna be elected in the United States. Hopefully it's RFK and he pulls out maybe, but... Women in the military. They're slowly getting more manpower back, which is not good. Yeah. We can't really reinforce our position that well. Hey, yeah, Americans, you keep attacking us. Yeah. Look at that. That's so good. Oh, it's so tasty. So tasty. Um, Germany... Ah, oh, there we go. Exactly. Germany comes to our aid. Actually, let's grab one thing of aluminum, maybe. Very nice. So, the solemn thoughts of war and toil... Trail behind the troops who had been stationed on base, preparing for the arrival of the new divisions being shipped in. Everywhere you look, men were clearing the way out of vehicle depots, worn out armored personnel carriers, and tanks shredded down the makeshift roads set up within the base, and officers berated their subordinates for not pushing cargo out the way fast enough for the incoming soldiers meant to help reinforce and strengthen the border against the South Africans. All the while, the Reich's Commissar looked onwards, bearing the heat of the ever burning African sun, with an airy zephyr gifted from Valhalla served the Germans that day. Blessings were, after all, slim to begin with in this war. Just earlier this week, the surrounding compound had been awoken from the emergency broadcast transmissions from the GGR itself. Through the static of the transmissions, they managed to get to see several key notifications, including U.S. entering South Africa. Reich reinforcements of victory not lost. The base had entered a feverish excitement in knowing that their savior, the fatherland, had provided so plentiful, plentifully that past the hordes that the African continent managed to generate seemingly every day. The lack of an undrenched uniform, the constant wear and tear upon both their equipment and their blood. Finally, the men would be able to enjoy a new bolstering event to fight shoulder to shoulder in the endless savannas of the accursed continent. Admittedly, there was continued talk about what could happen out there on the front lines with American lining up to fight as well, but none could surpass the growth. GGR. As the day finally arrived, <clears throat> and the distant sounds of trucks and other German machines of war poured into the bases surrounding th the surrounding air, the men had finally finished their preparations for all the reinforcements that were due to arrive. See, Kyle. Awesome. Awesome. Also, we get more organization for a few months. Recovery rate, entrenchment speed, division defense on core territory. Nice. Um, yeah, that actually feels really good now. 
that actually is pretty nice, I'd say. Oh god, we have resistance too, but whatever. Um, yeah, that actually feels pretty good that we get at least some sort of support from Germany. Woo! Papa Bowman has listened to our prayers. Uh, let's go and do... You know what, I want to do some more Shank. We always do Mueller, which, I mean, I'm focusing on him quite a bit. Missing piece of evidence. We've got quite a bit, but not nearly as much, and Russia's falling apart, which is okay with us. It's weird. During the war, we're still cutting down the debt. Um, okay. I kind of wish I could send volunteers to us. Ooh, that is... Ooh, a little bit of lag. Hello. Okay, America, you are so aggressive. You're literally going to kill your own division. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, you will kill your own division off, probably. 13... Hey, you do you, America. Just make sure that we don't lose. <laughs> oh, this would be good to do. For the Boer Republic, let's do that. Supply the Boers. Our Boer friends are brave and loyal to the cause, but they lack most basic supplies, from medical equipment to modern artillery. Since they are our first line against the Americana, we need to ensure that they can fight effectively and resist until our larger reinforcements can relieve their front. Trains and truck convoys will depart immediately for Rhodesia or deliver them wherever they might be useful to them. For the sake of victory, let's hope that they aren't bombed on the road. That'd be pretty darn bad if I do say so myself. Um, we could try to buy more equipment. We definitely need... Ooh, anti-tank, probably. That's probably what I want to get. Manpats? Probably going to fail. But whatever. Alright. Actually... Oh, we can't really see... Oh. Sent... Oh. Sent one volunteer division. Oh, they actually sent divisions... Wait. They sent divisions to them, not us? Borman. Why? Oh, look at it. Russia's on fire. Look at that. I love that. But, seriously, Borman? They went sent to Central Africa, Sudwest Africa, but not us. Why, man? Why? That's not enough dead South Africans. Borman is clearly paying, playing favorites. Uh, now I feel like Hans Hutig here. Why is it... Why are we getting punished? <laughs> why? <laughs> why do you send it to them? They're so incompetent. Yeah, it's pretty much a stalemate at this point. Which is, you know, not bad. It helps us get to do more focuses. I mean, just... I'm not I'm not sure what else to say about that. I guess it's time to reinforce our soldiers and... Ooh. Let's see. Uh, see Africa. Um, if, you, if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. I, I want to take a break from at least one of these, so... Actually, we spent 50 political power just to fail. That sucks. Whoa, look at that. We actually got manpower, though. Whoa, how do we get more manpower? War support? Penal slavery? Okay. I mean, military budget boost was nice. Alright, not bad. I mean, we've got a core population of 41 and a half million people, so that's not bad. How about this one? Develop more industries. Ooh... Both of both spots. Why not? Can you really consider yourself a boar if you hide in the house of Africa? No, it's time for all boars who have chosen exile among us in the last year to leave the darkness and face the enemy for the good of their homeland. As they're mostly convinced national socialists and better trained than their fellow brothers in the Rhodesia, these exiles make fine elite troops and officers for the boar troops, further increasing our control over their faction, which is important. And we also have a positive amount of uh, stability, finally, and a little bit of war support, so really not too bad. I love the boars. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, they're the Germans? Oh, wow. Thank goodness they're out of their war. That's actually really good. Um. I suppose you can all help out. Okay, yeah. Okay, the Germans might actually win the war for them then. Hey, look at that. Nice. I love Germany. I love the gross Germanisches Reich. Margaret Thatcher. Alright, not too bad. Oh, good God, yes. If America wants to send their divisions in, and then the Germans send their divisions in, just... Okay, Germany's seriously going to win the war for these guys. <clears throat> I love Borman, even though he didn't support us at all. Uh, actually, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and combine you guys here. There you go. Uh, that's probably good enough. Uh, I, just, I don't really care. Um, let's see. Well, we're going to thoroughly investigate Mueller again, then. Seriously. Germany is literally just going to win the war. Oh, hold on. Did they, did they bring air? They brought air. They must have brought air or something. Oh, we have no planes. <laughs> All right, then. Just go and hold, then. Okay. Seriously. 
the GGR is going to win the war for the South Africans, not us. All right. Okay, you know, I, we don't have troops to spare, but we'll help out Papa Borman, even though he doesn't want to help us. I'm going to not attack with those tanks. I want to save up some tanks. Um, cool. Are we building anything? Yeah, we're really not building anything, so we're just spending more money, even though we still get cut down our debt, which is okay. We're here to help hold the defend the line. Oh, I don't want to lose any more soldiers, but if we can help support the attack, I suppose so. Hey, look at that. Not bad. What's going on? I, th I thought I heard something. Jesus Christ, Germany. All right. Not bad. And then take the prisoners. Oh, yeah, I love prisoners. Put to work and lay an increase in economic output. Despite the war front changing every day, there are times when the Boers manage to make a push and retreat with American and South African prisoners. However, these men are then simply contained in camps without any productive thing to do. And uh, we have... And we have a great need for strong arms in our minds, so we shall ask our friends to take all prisoners under our security or custody. Once here, they'll be sent to a concentration and work camps, and they'll finally learn with what happens to those who endanger the survival of the Aryan race. And will finally serve the Vodka as all superior races should do until they fall to the ground. The message. For many long months, our men have fought and bled in the fields and jungles of Africa, sacrificing all to maintain the supremacy of the Aryan man, even in the Dark Continent. At long last, this effort would appear to have garnered some attention. The Rex Fierum SS himself, Heinrich Himmler, appears to have taken personal note of our bold struggle. Our friends in Burgundy have reached out to the Rex Kommissar Hutik himself, expressing their interest to send direct frontline support to Ost Africa to aid us in this war, of course. Such news has thrown Hutik into a frenzy of preparation in Quillemaine. Lavish events are being planned to appropriately host the Burgundian partners. Meanwhile, on the front lines, offensives are being drawn anew. As all South African soldiers, um, soldiers forces prepared to deliver large blows to offense forces, all in the hopes of repressing their soon to arrive Burgundian comrades. We must prove our worth. Yes, yes, I love Heinrich Himmler. I love Heinrich Daddy. Just don't quote me on that one. Okay, look at that. They actually made an encirclement of five enemy divisions. Wow. Okay. I love the Boers. Yeah, who cares? We're not going to attack. Let them do whatever they want to do. Nice. So I guess the, the goal... I guess I think I read earlier that the goal isn't to win. It's just to not lose and make sure that the Americans basically lose. Or at least just don't, just don't lose. That's the main thing. Just don't lose. Um, I'm questioning your strategy there, Borman, but okay. I'm doubly questioning your strategy here as well. Uh, actually, can I take their divisions? Ask control for states. Expeditionary forces. No. Press garrison support. They, they still have some manpower. We still have manpower too. The ugly truth, huh? These guys aren't committing anything to the war, it seems like sometimes. <sighs> Bowman, please, please don't waste yourself like America did. Better weapons, though. And let's grab... It's 1965. Happy 1965, everyone. Uh, we can grab that stuff. Let's grab some more output, shall we? Yeah. Let's grab some more cap, but... 12.5% more output. Seems pretty nice to me. GGR, please. Please don't kill off your own tank divisions. Please, God, Germany, no. You're acting like America now. Uh, why? Oh, now they're... Divi okay, their divisions left anyways. God dang it. Ah... Uh, well, they'll be back soon enough, hopefully. I love taking prisoners. Rigged to blow. I love blowing. <clears throat> Develop Boer Industries. Oh, LBJ. Oh, come on, LBJ? What? I wanted RFK Daddy or Wallace or somebody like that. Uh, LBJ gets elected in every campaign of mine now for some reason. I'm not sure why. But, let's... Oh, uh, we... Wait, I don't remember... Uh, putting in an order? Okay, whatever. Even though our supplies have proven useful. Attrition is... Already rearing its ugly head, and it won't be long before the boars need supplies again and again and again. Rather than dumping them into them precious supplies we could use ourselves, we can send economic advisors and prefabricated machinery to start up their own military production plants. It'll mostly be simple factories aimed at producing rifles and ammo, but it'll be enough so that they can avoid critical lack of supplies. Beautiful. Yeah, more liquid reserves, nice. Not, it's not much, but it's honest surplus on the back of slaves. So yeah, we can't really push, as you can see, our guys are so extremely weak. 
Oh, my goodness. We got enough guns, though. We got enough guns. All right, let's go ahead and thoroughly investigate Daddy Muller. Well, maybe Poppy Muller. So hopefully Germany finishes up here quickly. Um, actually, it looks like they did. did are you... Please send volunteers back. Please, 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 please. Cameroon, African state. Let's go lay out a focus street, too. They have national spirits. Pan-African vanguard. Tense borders. Political rivalries. Huh. No? Just don't lose. It seems like they stopped attacking us, too, so... Uh, develop Boa Industries. Well, the next research will be done... Oh, my goodness. 433. Holy bad words. All right. Rig to blow. Of course, there's the risk that a boar friends are overrun despite our help. In that case, it's better to be prudent and not let our enemies the slightest advantage. All machinery we lend least to the boars have been rigged with hidden explosives. Why does the central c control room should a factory fall into enemy hands? It'll simply go kaboom, denying our foe the chance to use it against us. Of course, the boars don't know about this, and it would be better if they didn't if you want to keep your head on your shoulders, that is. Our assets and boar territory shall be rigged to blow the moment these lands fall under enemy control. We should have done that one first. Oh, Germany's back, and making the same exact mistakes. Germany, please. That one's better? And you're actually winning. Oh, you have actually both divisions. That's better. Nice. All right, I'll be... Actually, let's take a look. Oh, military coup in England. Whoa, hold on. Why'd you get rid of Thatcher? No, you don't have a focus tree, guys. Leasing American despair should be getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, um... There's leasing it. Yeah, it should be getting worse, right, for them? Rigged to blow. Now, if they attack here, I will help support attack here too, as well, so. We shall see what happens. Oh, well, uh, it's. Oh, mm, mm. If we can help support the attack, that'd be really good. That's a total of five more divisions, including a tank division. Nice job, guys. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just. Move up here and help attack, maybe? Help defend. Oh, they're desperate to leave. Oh, they're so desperate. Help them out. Beautiful. Alright, so hold, and then go back to the front lines. Jesus Christ, Germany. I love Germany. Germany did nothing wrong. Insurgency trading. In order to lessen the pressure on our allies, we need to force the American puppets to worry about their own home guard or home ground. There are many Boers still living in occupied areas, but willing nonetheless to fight for us. We shall infiltrate their teams or infiltrate small teams behind enemy lines. We, they will reach for these groups of loyal collaborators and teach them basic insurgency tactics, especially aimed towards sabotaging industrial facilities and spreading chaos and panic with small but far reaching terrorist attacks against local politicians or police forces. Nice. That should help them out actually quite a bit. Even though at this point, I don't know how much core territory they have around here. <clears throat> and we got, what is it? Blomfontein back. Very good. Alright, let's. Auto? Uh, that's not bad. Recovery rate might not be bad either. Uh, recovery reinforced. Let's go charismatic just because we probably can recover faster than we can actually reinforce anyway, so. All right, Battle of Barcelona, $15 million. Well, let's get the most funding first. And lightly investigate Shink. Why not? We'll try it. Minus 700 billion, I mean... Germany's going for the big move here, holy cow. Well, if they went over to here, that'd be better, but okay, whatever. Insurgency training. Uh, two days, ah, good, good. I don't remember ordering a market thing in mobile, but let's grab large scale exercises. Beautiful. After that, everyone is useless. You betcha. Immobilize Ost Africa. <laughs> of course, we haven't mobilized yet, so our duty is clear. Our path is set from Germania to the deepest recesses of the jungle. We shall hold high the name of the bottle land. However, our enemies are many and our forces are few. If we want to prevail, we need to fully mobilize our forces both economically and militarily. Conscription shall be enacted throughout the Iraq's commissariat, areas, and orders will bring about all of our reserves, and our factories will run at full capacity. Ost Africa will be the embodiment of German will, a single steel like entity. Fully tense towards victory, like a fiery puma hunting its prey. Let our enemies fear us. We lose political power, which we already don't have that much of. Consumer goods goes probably further down, more cap for efficiency. Factory output goes up, dockyard output. Construction speed for our military construction factories goes up, but military, civilian factories goes way down. 
Democracy returns to Italy. Well, that's not good for us. All right, yep, just kind of hanging out, having a good old time. Um, I think we're like, investigating. Found to cease surveillance. If you if you like reading about this one, I don't like I don't read about failures too much. So, please go right ahead for the glory of the bottle line. <sighs> that sucks. We're literally just aiding the AI now. Jesus Christ, guys, why are you so crazy? They're not really winning, so we'll wait for the next attack if it's successful. Carnarvon. Carnarvon, eh? Insurgency training, in which we'll mobilize all Africa next. Oh. Well, that's alright. We can kind of wait probably first. It's already 65, so that's not too bad. And. We, should, we should, probably should have done that one before, but or faster. Pakistan. Hello, Pakistan. Germany. I don't want to commit my soldiers to a failed offensive. But, I guess with us, we can turn the tide. Phew. Oh, well. Ooh. War heroes being killed. Okay, that makes sense. Worcester. Worcester? How many dead south... Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a lot of dead. God dang it, Germany. You're so aggressive. I'll enjoy it, but our tanks can't do this. Oh, my goodness. Hey, look at that. Drums of War. I wish we could make that a little better. Um, surrounded by degeneracy. You betcha. Aryan only SS. S oh, boy. We can make the big move here. Oh, boy. This is probably a really bad idea. Oh, yep. Yeah, just going old then. Just hold. Just hold. Have a good old time. America, please. How are you not getting worse at this? It should get... It should be even more by now. There he goes. Worrying. Domestic discontent. Good. Can, I don't think LBJ can be cooed, though. So. Nice. Stability? Still too high for me. Way too high. Yeah, if we can't hurt, kill him in the fields, we'll kill him at home. But killing him at home just really means lowering their war support. Uh, I like infrastructure. How about that? Dar es Salaam is our largest dockyard and where most of our supplies from the wider Iraq come from. Should it be bombed or rendered unusable, we would have lose most of our reinforcements. We must ensure this flow never stops on one hand. The docks will be fortified and protected against enemy bombings and terrorist attacks. On the other, we shall increase the level of the infrastructure connecting Dar es Salaam to the Quilamain, allowing us to immediately receive everything and distribute what's needed to our troops at the front. I love infrastructure. Oh, wow, they're really trying to push in. Oh, look at those guys. I love it. So much attrition. Oh, good. Now, we're going to lose a battle, but the main goal is make sure that they really reduce their so strength here. Oh, bye, Vyatka. Goodbye. Goodbye, son. Um, I don't like how... I, I mean, I do like how concentrated we are here, but sometimes we just need to hold a line. I didn't order anything. What do you tell me that the thing has been ordered? I don't remember or anything. Nothing showed up at my doorstep. Oh, someone was just murdered here. Holy crud. Yeah, I think they're running out of soldiers or something. I mean, then again, so are we, but hey. It's Africa. Pipeline is Zanzibar. We still don't build anything. That's kind of disappointing. I'm literally just waiting for the Germany to take them out, so. Uh, if you want to help them out, that's fine. Fulshina. This is an incredibly brutal battle or war, but uh, actually, after this war, we should have. Oh, not really an event. Oh, the DC one, huh? Uh, should have, like. Oh, man, my brain is just stopping here. I apologize. More things to do, technically, just because. Well, we gotta put down, you know, probably some rebellions in our lands. We gotta make sure our stability is very high. So we might wanna save some political power, maybe. Hungry sets with Italy. There you go. Spread yourselves out nice and thinly. Thin enough to help have a good defense. Propaganda war. Oh, they're out of manpower. Nice. 
All right, Pipeline Zanzibar, skim the cream. The demands of the war are increasing our need for funds. Funds that we don't have, as our colonial budget is already stretched to the fullest. Still, we must win the war, so we'll have to make some cuts. Skim from some cream. There are so many useless things we were doing before the war began, such as funding schools, hospitals, and even tolerated natives. It's time to stop being sentimental and divert all resources towards the war effort. Those whose lives depend on these subsidies will find another way, or they will be an unwanted but necessary sacrifice on the altar of victory. Lovato land demands it. Ah, I love it. Skimming the cream. And let's go and do thoroughly investigate Miller. We can't fail here, right? We can't fail that one. We're thoroughly investigating him. Cut the debt. Not bad. Almost minus a billion. War is profitable. I love it. So what is Germany up to now? They still have a few good amount of tanks. If we could break through here, that'd be really good. But obviously we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm not sure why Germany's just kind of stopped. Ooh, they're attacking us nice. I don't think anyone else has upgrades yet. We haven't really been... Engage in too many conflicts as of late. I mean, they're out of manpower. We're not. We're just out of so much. Guns are looking good, though. Anti-tank, main battle tanks, APCs. Also, I think I did switch over, like, for a tank. This is why they're tank divisions instead of motorized. I did put one APC in here, so it is what it is. Ah, the Indonesian War. Pacific Light. Good. Oh, I get it. I understand, Black Market. You want me to use you, but I don't really want to use you. Defense Industry Development. Our army needs more supplies than we currently produce. The number of slaves we employ is not important. They are but fuel for Germany's greatness. Destined to be consumed, so we shall drastically increase subsidization to the military industry. Tanks, cannons, rifles. We will produce everything we need to buy ourselves. Let no one say we don't need to fight to the bitter end. I love factories. Oh. Wait. Okay. Cool. We just got stuff for free, and now we can't even produce stuff. Nice. I love free research. It must have been like Germany helping us out or something. Uh, I don't want to read about that. If you like to read about this one, please go right ahead. Um, it doesn't really matter since nothing really comes out of this. So, there you go. Skin the cream. Develop de industry de development. Defense industry development. So, yeah, I don't want to... I mean, we spent 100 political power on nothing here. Like, what's the point then? We even find anything on Shank. We gotta focus more on Shank. Let's just do light, light ones, because even if you spend 100 political power, you still fail, so. What's the point then? Germany, can you please do something? Then again, this is kind of nice, just trying to beeline for trying to complete our focuses as fast as possible. <clears throat> Occupied territories, wow, that's a lot of. Ooh. Local police enforcement. Just do this one so we can get some more. Ooh, that actually. Ooh. Hmm. Civilian oversight. Actually, ooh, Wehrmacht? Well, let's make you guys... Ooh. We don't have support coming, do we? No, we really don't. So, I'm just going to remove that. Do we have anyone here who's good for suppression? Uh, elite's okay. It requires more equipment, though. You know what? We'll replace these guys with light infantry. We have enough army XP to do this, so. They're all going to use light infantry just because they do not require anti air or anti tank. So, and all it requires guns, and we got enough guns for now. So, let me get it. So, it's all light infantry. There we go. That's better. That should save us some equipment. Just a little bit. And now we're out of guns. God dang it. <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. It had to be... Oh, man. Look at that stability. Uh, the unending war. Tom Skay. Shostakovich. Hello. Anything else here? Nope. Yeah, let's read the next one then. Conscript the tribals. We lose more stability and political power, but whatever. So... Our regular forces aren't enough to fully engage our enemies, therefore we will be forced to lower our requirements and bolster our garrison with locals. There are some natives which we tolerate as they aren't part of the inferior races. These primitives are loyal enough to be trusted for conscription against Americana, and if they aren't, we can always send their women and children into special concentration camps where they will remain until the war's run. One, the first one who flees, will all will pay the price, and the price is for cowardice is very high. Okay, is there any point doing this anymore? Like, we're forced to cease surveillance all the time. I mean, 
I, I'm not interested in doing this if it's just going to happen every single time. So, a failure for like three times in a row? That's not cool, man. We'll try it one more time. If not, I'm just I'm going to be done. It's in all intelligence we can to them. So, hey, look, factories. Uh, we need more guns. Yeah. Oh, do we need more guns? Have we got enough guns now? Oh, we got 3,400 guns. Where do we get those guns? Someone's giving us guns. I love it. Let's see. Anti-air. Oh, good lord. I don't want that. Battle for Italy. Uh, let's see. Support equipment could be really good. Approved anti-tank would be good as well. We just, we just need so much. I'm going to put it over here too. That's fine. Just need so much, man. And I'm really disappointed that Germany stopped moving around because there's nothing we can really do about this. So, yeah. But hey, this was conscripting the tribals. Forward base Darwin. Oh, they even raised it to another level higher. Very worrying. Nice. Very good. So we got to keep doing this until they like pretty much pull out. Which will have disastrous effects on America, hopefully. A war of words. Actually, what is this? I don't play as LBJ yet at the time it's recording, so... But where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, they're doing Indonesia as well. Oh, can you imagine they both lose Indonesia as well as South Africa? That'd be so good. Wow. I'm glad I don't live in Indonesia right now. That looks like a giant mess. Oh. Well, the rest is coming together. Alright, so I'm done doing this uh, agent stuff now. Um, I'm not going to send the evidence yet, but... That's very annoying. That's incredibly annoying. Cool. America lost more tanks. That's always good. There's still too many enemies down there. What's the point of doing something if you fail all the time? But, let's go and do unified holdouts. With America and their puppets pushing against our lines, we need to improve our defensive tactics. A core of interconnected fortified holdouts equipped with strong anti-air batteries and anti-tank weaponry shall ensure an efficient defense against most attacks, and devising a unified contingency plans for concentrated pushes will do wonders to keep the enemy at bay until we muster enough forces for a counterattack. We can do decisions. Nice. And just in case they attack us quite a bit. Oh boy, there goes German soldiers. And it is now February 10th, 1966, after we have just finished Unified Holdouts and Nine for Simplify Arms Productions. We need weapons, more weapons. Our enslaved workforce isn't skilled enough to produce the most modern weapons at our disposal, so we'll have to find ways to make the productive process both simpler and more economic for a limited resource pool. Prefabrication, modular designs, removing costly or redundant parts, replacing advanced components, and we will try everything in our power to ensure that every man has a rifle in his hands. Try as we might, and also, well, Indonesia won their little war over there, which is not bad. Suharto has already cooled the government, so it is what it is. Defining special provisions, very worrying still for America. Not good enough, but whatever. We have no stability, but what else is new, you know? And not really much has happened down here, honestly. Like, they pushed us out actually a little bit. Oh, Germany's back. Welcome back, Germany. You know what? What, what, what do we helped out here? Can we help out here? Can we try to help out at least? Come on. We're putting our men on, on the line. Germany, please. Let's let's waste some political power and do investigate Mueller again, shall we? Oh, we can supply the boars. Oh, maybe we should do that instead. Oh, wow, look at that lag. Oof. Oh, baby. Oh, a holdout program. Sort of fortify. Oh, that's not bad. We could fortify areas. I mean, honestly, at this point, oh, nice job, Germany. We don't really need to fortify. Excuse me. We don't really need to fortify too much. Because, I mean, we're not really in there, so. Increase support for the Boer Republic. Unlock new options to send equipment to our ally. I mean, that'd be cool and all, but we don't have anything here, so... Yeah. Oh, oh, did they win up here? Oh, let's demilitarize. How sad. How sad. Simplify arms production. Shock method. Everyone is effing useless. That's enough. I've had enough. It is evident that I am the only one who actually fighting to win the war. All others are merely playing the game. It's not a game. We're fighting to protect the Aryans in Africa to defeat the Americana. This is not a bad word game. They can't be trusted. Mueller can't be trusted. Shane can't be trusted. No one can be trusted. No one. Traitors. Traitors. Traitors everywhere. I'm alone, but I will win alone and then everything will be right. Every little thing. Someone give me the Cognac. Oh. Man, our guys are so weak. Holy crud. I mean, this would be nice. And Oh, if I steal. Oh, oh look at this. Propose a ceasefire. Uh, which the words developed to the point in which the for maybe like rebuttals will go right ahead. I mean, 
I guess we're just going to wait until after the war is done, so. Uh, the war is developed to a point where in which the forces of the OFN have achieved an undeniable superiority in the ground. It's time to go on the negotiating table to attempt to finally bring an end to this terrible conflict. No, 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 no. Stalemate. Shield leaning. Uh, let's see. Undeniable superiority on the ground. It's time to go to the negotiating table to attempt to finally bring an end to this terrible conflict. No. Less than 20%. No, we're good. Resources from Germany? Well, we could use a little bit more aluminum, honestly. Yeah, I could get some more aluminum. How about that? God. Oh, you're still winning. Aluminum. Fortify. We don't need to see that. We don't need to see that. At the cost of a few dollarinos? I mean, our budget's not looking too bad, so why not? Why not? Well, well the Borderlands been taken. So, okay, game. I, that's just a little bug. You know, it is what it is. Let's get our boys in there. Uh, maybe we can help out. But everyone is completely useless. Oh, robotics is almost done. Burn them all. Ooh. Factory repair speed. Kindle Soldat. Ooh. Kindle Soldatin. Nice. Let them know the truth. Ooh. That one looks a little gassy. I'm going to say that. Uh, gas, gas, gas. <laughs> burn them all. Shane complains that his bombing runs can't breach Americana bunkers. Well, we'll burn them with napalm, with anything that I can catch fire. He won't oppose me. I won't let him. The Americana, Canadians, Anglos, all will burn. They will scream and curse their leaders for having sent them into the dark continent. The Jacksons will eat them alive one by one until we are the only ones left. Let's see Shane's face when ah, I can do his job even better than him. It's not my fault things have turned out the way they did. Not at all. <clears throat> I was prepared for this eventuality. I knew one day we would end up in war with South Africa. I prepared for this. I armed the Boers so they might fight for the freedom and the Anglos f from the Anglos and the mongrel dogs of the ANC. I built the most feared and powerful Reichs Commissariat in the Pax so I would defend the possessions of the Reich from outside powers. I was the one who carefully planted traps and mines all throughout my territory to stop the advance of the enemy. I am not to blame for why the things are being becoming messed up. It is Mueller and Schenk. Schenk, that airhead, that little airhead, never caring for what's going on the ground and would rather fly around in his little toy jet fighter like, it, like he could win the war with a few aerial tricks. He makes a name for himself a long time ago and he used it to rob the loop off a blind at every turn. He hugs the aircraft for himself and tells me to my face that I wouldn't be able to handle them. It's a bad word playing. You tell it to bomb whoever you want. And that little rat dude, Mueller. He sells his entire operation to the highest bidder if he had half a chance, even if that bidder was General Motors. He uses the proceeds he takes from his investors and pays for mercenaries just so it's some company on hunts. And rather hunt another bad word animal than send his forces down to take Cape Town. That fortification line in Katanga. What the heck is he thinking? I told the right to remove them and they never listened. I knew all along they were useless traitors and they never believed me. Now, looking at your dark, darling colonies now, Germany, stopped on the battlefield by a number of South Africans and Negroid Americans. This is your defeat, your shame, your greatest mistake looking us all right in the face. No, I must not believe that. There's no way I can solve this. It requires everything I can get my, at my disposal and more unitary control over the Africa Shield. I have to do this myself with everything I have. And they're slowly maybe going to win. It's not bad. Um, I do remember, like, I think I said it earlier, if things don't go our way, we can always still use a little bit of a uh, gas, but then that forces the Americans to go to war with us, which would not be good. Hopefully we can call the German Reich and basically cause World War III that way over some dinky little African territories here that probably no one really cares about, honestly, too much, so. Oh, look at that, the evidence. Oh, they had an encirclement. Oh, guys, you, you almost had it. You almost had it. We lost 88,000, 600,000 dead South Africans. Not bad. Germany, please... Please, Germany, attack somewhere. Now they're attacking. They're attacking our allies. Not bad. I want to win the war before we end this episode, though. So it is June first, nineteen sixty-six. More aluminum? Sure. Yeah, I'm looking to waste political power on that stuff. Okay, so we'll cut these guys off. Port Elizabeth does not have a... Why does Port Elizabeth not have a port? Um, That really leaves... Or makes your... Noggin... Joggin... Um, Rhine against Den Sudden? Chemical Arsenal? Brudemold. Assume direct control. Winning and dining. Um... Candace Soldatin. Okay. Mueller wants to grant money for more, more money for his soldiers? No, he won't get a single Reichsmark. No more. Not any for me, at least. Perhaps he should go to his masters, beg for some more dollars. It seems like the 
He likes it more with a mad kind of stamp on each bell rather than a swastika. We'll find more soldiers, more than Mula could ever provide. Children will do. Twelve years at least? No, let's make it ten. They can already take up a rifle. They'll learn. Or they'll die. You know, it's a simply just a cruel world. With a high and mighty, democracy-loving Americana shoots a child, even of an inferior race? I truly hope so, or their moral qualms will be their undoing. The general buds of insects consumes the air. Grass shakes and rustles in the hot breeze. Farmers, done with the pre-dawn labor, march through the fields towards home, eager to eat their breakfast. Their wives are prepared. The buzz rises, rubbing through the village like a sweaty hat and villagers left their heads concerned about the intensity of the rigid hum it's deafening now the buzz is everywhere they look across the ground for the usual suspects bugs and hard shelled beetles they look up everywhere they look everywhere but up the buzz pounds in their skulls, the echoes in their bones and souls, the buzz tears at their ears and teeth. The buzz flies from beyond the horizon, it's made manifest forged in steel and oil. The villagers finally look up towards the shaking, buzzing heavens. They scream as loud as they can, as though trying to drown out the buzz, but they cannot, they don't. The buzz is only silenced by metal rain and liquid fire, the buzz only quiets, perhaps out of horror for the burning chemicals that pierce the earth and clay. As the plane flies away, its mission a resounding success, the village lies behind it. Black ashes and green fires whisper and mutter in the morning wind, even the buzz of the insects is gone, been burned away, the bomb lives only as is falling. Oh. oh, look at these. We're actually not doing well down here, huh? That's alright. They still cut these guys off. Kinder Soldaten. I love Kinder Soldaten. Let's see. Still more aluminum. Please. Please, more aluminum. Um, hmm. Mark, Cape Town is the frontline city, finally. I kind of do want to finish out the focus tree before we get down there, so I'm, not, I'm stopped all the attacks, as you can see, so... Hopefully we can get to, them to, to tell them to let them know true fear. Have you ever felt true pain? Have you ever felt true fear? Fear of dying? Dying with your skin falling from your limbs, your flesh covering in necrotic plagues before your eyes? Until your eyes burn inside your sockets, then you die, screaming without much without mouth and tongue, crying without eyes and tears, cursing your mother for giving birth to you so only so that you could die in such a horrible way? And the Americana will die. They will all die. Do they think me, to who a coward, a traitor like Shank and Mueller, me? They will pay for the imprudence. Uh, or imprudence. They will pay with their lives, and once I win this war, I will ensure that no one can speak ill of me or the Vaterland. Oh, gas, gas, gas. Uh, as much as I love to do this one, if you like to read about this one, please go right ahead. Um, it removes drones of war. We'll be silenced. Uh, no, I think, I don't know. I think we're going to wait on that one. So we'll do Bruder Mold if we don't win the war. It's lagging kind of hard, so... Don't be so harsh on me. This isn't a fratricide. This is justice of the highest kind. I don't need proof of their betrayal. I know it. They knowingly hindered the war effort to ensure our defeat. The Reich's defeat. My defeat. But they failed. Now they will pay all of them. But first, I will win the war. I don't need them not anymore. I need their resources, though, and their industry. Not their men, especially Mullers. They'll get a court martial and a firing squad. Perhaps too muscle, but I have little time for little men, for my former brothers instead. I have a little new batch of gas, the most potent my scientists could ever produce. It'll be my thanks to them for the humiliations, for the betrayal. Now I will be alone, and no one will be able to betray me. Now, does that mean we just become, like, united completely, or do we make Big Africa stat, or a shot? Because I would love Big Africa shot. Ah, child soldiers, yes! The village has been operating uh, as normally as life could be in the dense jungles of uh, German Africa for the 11 years of Mukoki. Muchoki. He woke up as early as possible, donning the clothes he'd been provided to by the scary men with the mask who constantly walked around the area. His mother li never liked them, especially when they hit people with their guns, but ever since they made his father disappear, she always called them the Mashatanzi Giza, the Dark Devils. However, none of that mattered now. All Muchoki had to be concerned was about waking up early enough to go to the caves, his mind as long as he could, and finally get up for dinner. However, as the day began, young Muchoki knew that something was amiss, especially as the smoke rose in the air and a small metal truck followed by a bigger one pulling... Pulled into the village, saying all the adults he knew scattered to their homes. Quickly, a shorter, older man got out of the truck, barking and yelling at the Mashet Mashtani Giza. Muchoki's German lessons were going slow, but he could hear them yelling something about the children. It was then at, that a shiver ran down his spine as he began kicking down doors, forcefully carrying children into large trucks. Suddenly, with an angry point of a black glove, the older man ordered the devils to grab Muchoki himself, forcing them away from his crying mother and back into the back of the huge truck as it roared alive and carried him away from his village. Abdu, Daweshi, Nyojga, and a few other of Mochoki's friends joined him in the tightly packed truck, hours away to a new, loud, and scary place. The devils ordered them out of the truck and marched them into a dark, concrete room. There, the short man began yelling at them in the German, pointing to some smaller version of what the devils wore themselves. They all began to put them on and were marched away, destined for a long field where they each got a German-made rifle and were told to shoot, shoot, and shoot, and figure out how to put the bullets back in. If they didn't, they were beaten and went without dinner, as Mochoki would learn on his first night. 
Finally, after weeks of a cycle and a bit of learning some more German, Muchoki and his friends were brought onto truck out onto the open sa sa savannah where they began digging trenches. It was there that the bullets started being fired towards them, and everyone picked up their guns and shot back. When the big truck with the cannon on top slugged forward, the short man climbed on top of the trenches, yelling and screaming, demanding they shoot better or else they would be fed for a week. It was there that Muchoki felt the blood and gray matter splash across his face as the short man's head collapsed upon himself, and it fell into the trench. Muchoki could only hear gunfire, foreign screaming, and the cries of his friends as the men on the hill came near. Older men declare war, but it's the young that die, or the young that must fight and die. <sighs> we will win this war. Kicking and screaming. Oh, <laughs> there goes the German soldiers immediately. Not bad. Oh, wait. Oh, someone joined. Uh, was it Italy that joined the OFN? Yeah, they did. At least I know it's looking not too bad. They got Bulgaria and Romania. Not bad. Hopefully the Moscow autonomy dies quickly so that they can go back and resume operations down here. At this point, these soldiers are all going to die here. Oh, that's... Did you... Did they abandon the entire... Oh, boy. Hold on. we got to fix this up. Um, I'm going to send this group here. Shank. Mula. Why? That's all I can ask is just why. Why did you abandon the line, Mula? You're, they're all so useless. <laughs> uh, of course, they should be starving for supplies eventually. At this point, I mean, we're just going to probably just be moving into here and then taking Port Elizabeth and East London. You got... Oh, my God. The focuses are too correct. They're just too correct. Oh, is it over? Did, we, did they take... Okay. Moscow autonomy. That's good. Oof. I just, I just want to, just gas, gas, gas. It was like Torah, 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 but no, it's gas, gas, gas. There you go, nice. You should be able to win. I mean, both, both these divisions are just really bad. Uh, strength level? Let's take a look at their strength level. Hey, got 177 more guys. Happy September 1st, everyone. Um, they must be doing last stand because their strength level is not going down at all. No, no, maybe not. Maybe it's just organization. It's probably just organization. Oh, please don't tell me. Okay. Whew, 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 whew. You're so dumb. You're so dumb. I want to get to Brudemold. Brudemold, please. The 50-year flashback. The patrol was as regular as it normally was. The lieutenant of the platoon shepherded. As militiamen threw their daily checks as quickly as they could, the quicker they finished their sweep of the area, the quicker they could go back to relaxing. It was really the only part of the day that the lieutenant disliked. The patrol was hot, filled with mosquitoes and other nasty little buggerinos, and generally pointless. After all, the only danger to do his camp this far behind the front lines was the occasional German bomber that slipped through the cracks of the American air defense. As the lieutenant finished his thought, he heard the distinctive sound of one of the flying machines growing closer by the second. A quick glance up over the trees, and it was clear that the plane was a few things. It was a jet. It was German, and it was flying straight for the platoon. In an instant, the lieutenant shot into his commanding demeanor, yelling for his men to scatter as he ducked down behind the rock. He braced for the inevitable explosion and the screams that would come with it. The roar of the jet washed over the men like a wave, but the whistle of a bomb and the blast of explosion did not follow. The lieutenant, stunned, tried to figure out what could have happened. Was it possible that the plane did not see them? Could some divine stroke of luck have prevented the pilot from dropping his payload? Could the bomb been a dud? After a moment, he rolled over, looking for the plane. That was when he noticed a sudden fog that had blanketed the hill. He got back on his feet, gesturing for his men to follow, but his chest was tight and his nose wouldn't stop running. His platoon woozily made their way down to the fog, but one by one they began to collapse. Some started to scream, their gurgling shrieks piercing the jungle air. Suddenly, the lieutenant's legs gave away. He tried to stand back up, but his ar legs and arms jerked uselessly. He tried to scream, but his breath was gone and his lungs would not respond. He tried to inhale, but he found his mouth paralyzed. His body spasmed uncontrollably as raw, unfiltered terror rocketed through his brain and in his final moments. His mind raced and then slowed and stopped as he expired. The jungle lay silent, the first to witness the deaths of the next stage of war on the dark continent. There's no way to end the cruelty of a madman's war. Oh, it's not mad. It is just as intended, we shall say. Seriously, our allies are literally useless. I, I, oh, shield leaning? No, 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 no. Oh, we're not done. Oh, we're not done. We're gonna, hmm. We have child soldiers and we're gassing our enemies. This is just Victoria 2 in Africa, which is just Victoria 2 in the 19th century. But we're in the 20th century. Oh, I love the 1960s. It's, I love Hootig. Hootig is doing a great job. I mean, Hans, someone promote this man. Rexco <laughs> uh, Messiah Muscovine. Oh, LBJ. How is he going to spin this to the population? 
Uh, are you actually losing down here? Oh, well, we're not even attacking. I don't care. Central Africa. Oh, you are completely useless. You are completely useless. This like... Oh, <laughs> how is he going to spend that? His soldier, the Americans are getting gas. He's focusing on elementary and secondary education. Hey, let's focus on schools. Let's not talk about our soldiers getting literally gassed to death in the jungles of South Africa. Or I guess not the jungles. It's really the savannah down here. The American Malays. Token civil rights. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, oh, we got it done. Winning and dining. Incredibly worrying. All right, let's put him out of the misery. Destructive race riots. I love race riots. Ah. <sighs> Wilhelm Rutte von Thoma stepped out of the helicopter to see two rows of Wehrmacht on the guards. Uh, Stahlhelm, shining in the fading sunlight, stiffly saluting him in the freshly starched dress uniforms. Reichskommissar Hutig was waiting at the door to his compound, arms clasped behind him and making a smile that concealed obvious annoyance. General von Thoma, what an unexpected surprise! I was expecting the Reichskommissar Müller. Unfortunately, the Reichskommissar is preoccupied with affairs uh, of state and cannot attend. Uh, von Thoma replied, so he sent me in instead to negotiate our next course of action. <coughs> I see, said Hutig, but first I was thinking we have a bit of dinner when the Rex Commissar Schenk arrives before we do anything else. Despite von Thomas's preconceptions, or maybe it's von Thomas's preconceptions of Hutig as a dowel man, he knew how to be a good dinner host. Some of the Germania's finest chefs, pre war vintage champagne, and some absolutely superb dry aged filet mignon all combined to make this most sum sumptuous dinner or supper he had eaten since he had been assigned to Africa. When the meal was finished, Hutig nodded to one of his ge servants, all German, probably because he was too paranoid to let Africans manage his household and a small fleet of staff swooped in in a flush. The plates were cleared, the tablecloth was replaced, and the empty champagne flutes were swapped away with four full ones, and servants resumed their stoic positions by the door. Now, before we have dessert, gentlemen, I want to make a toast to our survival against the judeo capitalist menace, who take stood up and raised his champagne as an action and action shank and von Thoma were mirrored. But, alas, we cannot truly celebrate until we have purged all the Reich's enemies on the continent and all the traitors from within it. Wait, what? Africa adieu. Sigrid Müller note in the tall grass, skinning the freshly slain gazelle with a hunting knife. He relished the feeling of watching the sun set over the savannah, a weapon in one hand and the pelt of one of the dark continent's great beasts in the other. He had often wondered whether he could just never return to Leopoldville and stay on safari for the rest of his life, but he never went through with it after all. It would mean leaving behind all of his trophies of previous hunts. Carrying to or the gazelle's ba skin back to his helicopter, Müller decided to pick up the radio and check in how the poor dude von Thoma was doing at Hutig's strategic meeting. Adler 1 to Kona 1, or Adler 1 to Kona Kondor 1. Come in, how's Vili doing over there? Over. The radio stayed silent for a few moments, but when it crackled back to life, it made Mueller blank. This is Kondor 1. They're taking fire off on the helipad from Hutig's men. The co pilot is down. We're trying to. Three more on the left side. We're trying to take off, but there's no sign of Von Toma. We need. The transmission ended with a scream and a burst of submachine gun fire. Mueller changed the frequency on the radio and picked it up again. Rolf, come in, Rolf, and Siegfried. I want you to have all my personal effects in my office packed up and on the next flight to Germania. Legally, illegally, I don't care. I want you on that flight too. Bring anything you don't want to live without. Don't go to the office, send someone else to do it. With any luck, we'll have the tea in the tea gotten this time next week. Goodbye. He turned to the pilot and said, Time to take off. Back to Liverpool, right? Come on, No, not there. Just anywhere that isn't part of this godforsaken colony. No more distractions. Heil Hutig. Heil, heil, heil. Ah. <sighs> And we have no national focus because we pretty much did the entire focus tree, at least this section here. So, and it's going to lag very hard. Hopefully, oh, I just hope that we have one big Reichstag daddy. Ah, Gross Afrikanische Reichstag. Well, it is what it is for now. In which, ooh, Africa forevermore. We achieved the impossible. The war against the feckless South Africans and the Judeo Bolshevik masses in Washington have been won. Has been won. The traitors on Windhoek and Leopoldville have been removed from their offices. Only a Star Hitler, who did, and stands tall, and nothing else will stop him from achieving his vision for Africa. Already the factories are humming and releasing their fumes in preparation for the future of prosperity, and the fields and mines are filled with laborers, gathering metals and rubber for our soldiers. And with other traders that left the degenerates and the rebels to their own devices, we have access to even more resources to exploit. I love it! No one can oppose us. With our flanks secure and without the bureaucrats from Germania interfering with our own work, the reins of the Reichstadt are in our hands. Stop Hitler. Hutte can realize his vision with our pan-African Aryan Empire, where the German Empire or German race can settle and prosper, and where the native learns his place. Our triumph is inevitable. Stop Hitler. Hutte will be the master of Africa, just like Hitler was the master of Europe. And we'll follow him wherever he will lead us. Glory to the Reichstadt. Glory to the Aryan race. Sieg Heil. Let's end this for once and for all. Boys, it's time to go in. Let's go to Cape Town. And we're losing already. Mutual assistance agreements have been removed. Soldiers of Fortune's gone. Oh, well, we're gonna try to try our best, but it's not going very well now, is it? I could force the attack, but I think that'd be a really bad idea. Shield broken. 
Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Veterans? Yes, please. Um, let's see. Eight divisions. I'll throw you all right here, actually. Right there. Right there. Cool. Beautiful, my friends. Oh, did it cancel? Africa forever? I know your tog. Yes, please. Oh, it just became a new country, basically, so. Get some of that. Oh, we need more guns. Uh, do one, do two, do three there. Uh, go two. We want more tanks. Look, I got enough jet fighters, too. Look at that. Nice. Uh, get some more infantry equipment for now, too. I love Africa. Come on, kill them off, kill them off. Uh, actually, do we have any more... Oh, no air bases there, huh? Come on, I want to finish this war. Good. You guys honestly should be able to just do this. At this point, just because they should be getting like almost zero supplies. They still have East London, unfortunately, but whatever. I knew our talk. The crisp morning air filled the room. The weather in Quillamane was sunny but devoid of the tropical tropical heat. A cold breeze from the Indian Ocean brought freshness to instead of the usual mo monsoons. Even Hutik was feeling unusually satisfied. And that wasn't just because he woke up this morning without the usual splitting headache. The world was won, the American got routed, and the spineless traders in Leopoldville and Windhoek were relieved from their offices. It was a morning of glo victory. Almost. Han sat behind his desk. The new chair was sturdy and comfortable without being too luxurious, but most importantly, didn't creak. The Stahl Hitler took a moment to enjoy this improvement and then took a file on top of the massive pile to his right, and he found in a report by the SS divisions of Bayushin Land detailing the growth of resistance activity in the region and those needed more recruits and supplies to tackle the emergency. We took, took a glance at the document Spock file. If essentially was right, all those other files would contain the same reports. The only thing that would change is where they happened. But after all, he was now in control over a territory that stretched from the Congo Sea to Cape Town. It was only natural that it would take more effort to control it. With the new vigor, who took, took another file from the pile and started reviewing it. So much to do, so little time. And I, I'm done waiting around. We've waited more than long enough for this. So I am ready to win the war. Ready to win, 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 win. Come on, kill them off, kill them off. Oh my goodness, come on. No, you're not done. You're going straight in. Urgent. From the desk of the Deputy Colonial Verwalter von Uganda, Otto Riemer. We regret to inform you that Colonial Verwalter von Uganda, Jörg Beimacher, is dead. At approximately 3 o'clock in the morning, the Colonial Administrative Headquarters in Kampala were attacked by unknown assailants. In the ensuing firefight, the guards were on shift, were all killed or incapacitated, and the building itself was forcibly entered. Colonial Verwalter Beimacher was in his office at the time working and when the attackers entered. Approximately 45 minutes later, garrison reinforcements discovered the body left along the roadside near the administrative building. The colony of Valvalto's eyes have been gouged out, his legs each broken in three places, and his fingers removed and stuffed in his mouth. All three of these injuries were most likely inflicted before his throat was savagely cut. Deputy Colonia Valvalto Otorima has assumed the responsibilities of the colony of Valvalta von Uganda. With the advice of the Reichstag, assumed direct control of the Uganda region immediately. The horror. It's urgent matter, send in more troops. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on, come on. That should be more than enough now, right? That should be... The war is won! We've done it! Yes, we've got it. The march outside or south was one embraced with blood. Battle after battle. The streams and begging of wounded men to be killed grew tiresome for the right commissar Hans Hutig, finally being squashed out of the miserable existence as a tank treads inched forwards. The Schutzstaffel regiment of the Reichs Commissar at Ostafrika, or Gross Afrikaner Reichstadt, proved Reichstadt, proved successful warriors upon the African front, and its final siege proved no different from every other butchery. The final battle erupted as Ost African commitment to the war had begun under the strict orders of Hutting. The odor of smoke and blunt flesh coupled with the screaming continued for hours until, from the safety of the forward operating base, the Reichs Commissar could bear no more of this weight. He ordered the immediate advance of his regiment across the African plain until assault of the Cape, last bastion of defense. Thus the march on was burning the land under the strict orders not to leave a denizen alive, and thus, under the burning stalls of the African night, Hans awaited the news of the battle. Echoes of gunfire erupted, followed by the eventual rising flames of the city as he heard tank shells crumpling the scumbered in buildings that had made up the city. Finally, hours later, a lone soldier burst into Hudik's room, causing a thunder slam as the door hit the wall. The soldier shouted, Sir, Reichs Commissar Hutik, oh, Sir, news from the... Rotten fuel, who interrupted. You allowed a draft in. The African net is cold, you know. He said, immediately shooting up from his seat and walking to the soldier with a bottle in hand. Sir, my dearest apologies. I was sent to inform you of the victory over South Africa. The combatants have been flushed out. Our regiments, alongside those of Rex Commissars Schenk and Muller, claim victory tonight. So the soldier finished. Victory, did you say that of Rex Commissars Schenk and Muller? Yes, yes, sir. The soldier's statement was cut off as Hutik smashed the bottle over his head, ordering him, ordering him out of the room. <laughs> the end of the war was Hutik's victory, and Hutik's victory alone, in his mind. With that, fixed secure. We have done our duty to the right, and we shall finish our episode here with African Disaster. Ooh, what do we do first? The rule of continent. We'll gather our strength. 
Werewolves against the Silva. Um, let me know in the comments below which one we, we need to do. Uh, I'm not really sure. Recover the boar, salt the earth. Should we do werewolves or gather our strength? Now, I, if I remember correctly, we might want to do a system of cleansing first, probably. So, we'll do that one. Now that we have the resources to do so, we must begin our program to neutralize native resistance. While the current situation looks quite grim, given how traitors, administrations, and Zenthral and Zud West Africa's coddled and armed their degenerates, the Stahl Hitler will bring a sorely needed change of peace or pace. The rebels and their arrogance will still think they are from they are safe from retribution and are in for a very nasty surprise, but I... Uh, we have really won. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we shall pacify vast swaths of Africa and have a good time doing so under Daddy Papa Yee Haircut Hans Hutig. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.